Hey kids, this is the warm up for Hardy Weinberg uh, that we're doing on Wednesday and Thursday. Just wanted to show you the key here after you did it so you can know that you're right. So in horses, gray co uh, coat color is determined by a dominant allele. A herd of 50 horses is there to have 42 gray horses. Determine each of the following values for this herd. So what are they giving you? That's the first thing we always need to figure out from the question. Then we can figure out what they're asking. And in this question, they're asking for everything, basically. But um, what, what they're giving us is they're telling us 42 of them are gray, which means that those are the dominant phenotypes. So the only way you're going to have a recessive phenotype is if you're uh, homozygous recessive. So essentially, they're telling us that eight of them are homozygous recessive showing that phenotype so eight out of 50 so that's giving us q squared is what it's giving us okay so once you figure out what eight out of 50 is to determine what q squared is you're going to figure out okay well that's 0.16 now once i have that okay well then again the first thing i want to do is i want to get to p and q then i can answer all these questions really easily so i take 0.16 i take the square root of it that's going to take me from q squared to q so that tells me q is 0.4 and that's this first answer here. Or really, you could have had Q squared could have been your first answer here, which is 0.16, right? But once I have Q squared, I squared it. I mean, I'm sorry, I took the square root of it. So it went from 0.16 to 0.14, which is what Q is. And remember, P plus Q always equals 1. So once I have Q, I know P. It's 0.6, right? And once I have P, I can figure out P squared because all I have to do is square it. 0.6 times 0.6 gives me 0.36, so that is P, okay? So that's those. Let's go down to 2PQ. So remember, 2PQ is asking for the heterozygotes. That's the that part of the Hardy-Weinberg equation, 2PQ. So once I have those that information, those numbers, then I'll just plug it into the equation, equation here, 2PQ. 2 times 0.6 times 0.4 gives me 0.48. So 48% of them are heterozygotes. And then I go down to these questions. This kind of gets a little bit repetitive, but that's okay. Just make sure you understand. It's good practice because it, you want to get practice at what all these terms mean and what they're asking, right? So the percent of homozygous dominant. So we're talking about P squared. That's what that represents in the equation. Homozygous dominant. Boom, 36%. Percent heterozygous. That's that part of the equation. 2PQ. That's 48%. Percent homozygous recessive. That's talking about Q squared part of the equation. So that is 16%. Boom. And then you just do a little bit of simple math. They're asking you the actual number. So to figure out the number of homozygous dominant, well, you take that percentage, 36%, and it's in a decimal, po uh, play, decimal uh, point of 0.36. You multiply that times the total number of organisms, which is 50, right? So 36% of 50 is going to be 18 individuals. For heterozygous, 48% of 50 is going to be 24. For homozygous recessive organisms, 16% of 50 is going to be 8 individuals. And there you go. Hopefully that was pretty easy for you. See you.